for, so that your name may be glorified. I pray all this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. On the 1st October 1991, UN General Assembly made a resolution to celebrate the International Day for Older Persons. Uganda joined the trend in 1999. This day was designated by the UN General Assembly under resolution number 45 stroke 106. The International Day of Older Persons was observed for the first time throughout the world on 1st October 1991. In Uganda, we have commemorated this day since 1999. This year's theme, Upholding Rights for Older Persons During the COVID-19 Pandemic, is aimed at the inclusion of older persons in the fight against COVID-19 and recognizing older persons' contribution towards development of the country. There is need to support older persons in observance of the Ministry of Health Guidelines and rated standard operating procedures before the situation can become worse given they have run. Among the achievements that the government has had success in luring out to the senior citizens is the grant and the older persons bill 2020 which is still in process. There is need to support older persons in observance of the Ministry of Health guidelines and rated standard operating procedures before the situation can become worse given they have run. His Excellency Oweli Kaguta Mseven, on the other hand, applauded the government for improving life expectancy. He tasked the Elders Council to sensitize the elderly on prevention methods that will further increase life expectancy. In improving the life expectancy of Ugandans, the old people need to thank the NRM. Because you people, you are dying at... At 47. That's why they, they started calling me Muse when I was 30. Because they thought I was going towards. Uh, uh, because you remember the life expectancy in 1946 was. After 43 years, I don't know why this... The National Census Bureau report of 2014 indicates an increase in the number of elderly by 30% from 1.1 million in 2002 to 1.4,300 million in 2014. Currently, the country holds a 1.6 million number of older persons. Maria Dana Namiro, STV Select News.